Ladies and gentlemen, how are we? Cam Stewart calling in here from uh, the Southern Motorway. Uh, heading up, on, you wouldn't believe it, it's a Saturday. And uh, I'm, I'm stuck in traffic on the Auckland Motorway. So this is, a, uh, this is the absolute dream in Auckland City, sitting in traffic. I spent half my, I spent half my life uh, in the traffic. Good thing I, uh, I like doing videos and like listening to stuff on... Uh, that I can learn from because I can utilize my time but uh, it's crazy man the, the, the amount of the amount of traffic that's here uh, on a daily basis is absolutely ludicrous so hey look just wanted to uh, get on here and um, as you'll see in the in the line there what I've put g'day Daniel how are you um, as you'll see uh, I'll put on the uh, in the heading there of this uh, video um, you know what you think about you get um, and man, this is just so true. I can tell you, um, you know, from myself, from my own experiences, and what I've seen with other people as well. Um, what we think about on a daily basis, or what's continually in our in our thoughts, is, is, is you know the results that we get in our life. Um, you know, and I, you know, I've been one of those people uh, in the past that would, you know, I think about circumstances or things that, you know, I, I potentially couldn't uh, control. G'day, Jace. How are you, brother? Good to see you on. Uh, so, um, yeah, look, as I was saying, um, what you think about on a daily basis is, is it will reflect on the results that you're getting in your life. So, like, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. If, let's say you had a relationship breakup and, um, all you all you did was you know you keep thinking about that relationship breakup you keep focusing on that well at the end of the day that's done and dusted and you can't control that anymore but what we do as human beings is we always focus on the problem instead of focusing on the solution now look I haven't been on a, in a relationship uh, breakup for quite some time so I'm no expert on that field but um, you know that's just an example it's easy when you're in that scenario or in that situation um, to focus and put all your energy and effort into that um, that negative aspect and uh, what happens is if you keep focusing on that um, That will give you a negative result in your life. I, I'll give you an, an, another example if you've got um, Problems with money and you just keep focusing on uh, focusing on having no money um, And you're living pay to pay week to week whatever and uh, you, you, you know you're getting frustrated and, and, and you're stressed out if you keep focusing on that problem What happens is you just keep attracting that stuff to you? Now you can either believe this stuff or not. I can tell you, 110%, this this works. If you if you focus on the things that you really want to do, like yesterday, for example, I went out and um, looked at a farm out uh, the Coromandel Peninsula. I went out and had a look at it, um, and just got really um, got some clarity around what I'm, what, you know, why I do all this crazy stuff, uh, the goals and the objectives that I'm working towards. So that's a vision or that's a goal that I'm working towards. So I, now I can think about that, think about that, think about that. And that gives me the energy and it gives me the clarity so that I can move forward with my life. So, you know, the, 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 what I've always been taught is when you learn something, the best way to, to get it imprinted into your subconscious mind is to go and teach it to someone else. And that's why I'm doing this uh, video here today, is this has been absolutely um, key um, to overcoming some of the situations that I've had in my life is when I focus on the things that I can control which is my own actions and where I'm heading and not looking back don't get me wrong you, you know the past is the past it's always going to be there the past is what molds you but if you keep focusing on those things that are negative that are out of your control it's just going to paralyze you and stop you from progressing forward so you know, you just want to focus on the on the goals, the aspirations, the things that you want to achieve. You know, the relationship that you want to have, the amount of money that you want to have in the bank, um, the the body that you want to have. I don't know, whatever the, whatever the case may be, focus on that positive stuff. Don't fo focus on the negative because at the end of the day, we can't control what's happened in the past. We can only control what's going to happen tomorrow. So I just really wanted to get on and just really a really quick video today. I'm I'm heading up uh, to. Uh, to the gym actually so I've got a uh, I've got a pre-workout here so I'll, I'll, I'll smash this back but not that I need the energy I just like to get to that second uh, second level you know um, so yeah hey look it's uh, you know life's, it's, life's an amazing thing but you know it can be frustrating and disappointing when we we put all our energy and efforts into into the into the 
the parts of life that aren't um, adding value to us. So all I can say is whatever it is that you've got going on right now, you know, if you've got some negative stuff happening or if you've got some situations that are slightly out of your control that are, um, you know, um, hard on your cash flow, whatever the case may be, stop focusing on all that crap and start focusing on the things that you do want to achieve. Start focusing on the, the goals, the aspirations, whatever it is that you want to do. Keep focusing on that stuff and then the rest of that stuff will follow. So thanks for listening in, guys. Just a really short message from me today. Um, I'm going to go and uh, bust my ass at the gym. Um, and uh, try and shred a, bit, a few more pounds. So uh, looking forward to uh, talking to you all again soon. So have an absolute cracker of a day. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, we'll see you again. Cheers.